My name is Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention, and this is Welcome to Worcester State. Welcome to Worcester State is an online web show where each week we talk about the important topics that are part of a new student's transition to Worcester State. This week, we're talking about Residence Life again, and I'm happy to be joined by Rebecca Giard, Assistant Director of Residence Life. Rebecca, welcome back. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Awesome. Uh, so folks probably saw your episode uh, a few weeks back. But uh, for the folks maybe who didn't, can you tell them a little bit about yourself? Of course. So my name is Rebecca Giard and I work in the Office of Residence Life and Housing. I am in my fifth year here at Worcester State um, and I just finished up my career here as an RD actually. So I was in charge of one of the buildings um, and now I'm the Assistant Director for Housing Operations. So I'm super excited to be here and kind of help you all through the process of living on campus and doing housing assignments and all that fun stuff. Awesome. Such fun stuff. All right. So as you know, we already have some pre-planned questions and for the folks who saw the last episode about residence life it is some overlap but these are some important reminders just because of some of the deadlines related to them so um, where can the license agreement be completed and when should a student complete it by yes so the license agreement can be found in your my housing portal which is worcester.edu slash my housing and you log in using your worcester state username and password so just what you use for your email, same exact thing. Um, and that should be completed pretty much as soon as possible, just so that you don't forget about it. But it definitely needs to be completed by June 30th in order to continue through the housing process um, for fall 2018. Awesome. So part of the license agreement includes uh, a first year questionnaire. Can you remind everyone a little bit about what the first year questionnaire is for? Yeah, of course. So the first year questionnaire asks questions like, what are your sleeping habits? Are you a morning person or a night owl? study habits, a smoker or a not smoker, just interests about yourself and we use that um, for our housing software to match you with other potential roommates that we think you might be compatible with. So um, it's really important that you fill it out yourself, don't have mom, dad or a friend do it for you. Um, fill it out for true to who you are as a person so that we can do the best roommate matching possible. Awesome. And that is also due on June 30th because it's part of the license agreement. Perfect. So uh, we talked about uh, roommates before but um, what if you have someone you want to live with? How would you match with them and when should you match with them by? Yes, so you can match with them um, once you have filled out your license agreement through your My Housing Portal. Everything goes through there, so just get used to hearing that word a lot. Um, so it goes through your My Housing Portal and it's under the Room Selection tab at the top and you just drop down to Roommate Selection and you can search there by first and or last name. Um, it's important to know that if they have not filled out their license agreement, you're not going to be able to search for them. So if you have a problem and you can't find someone that you're looking for, most likely start with that because they probably haven't done their paperwork yet and then once they do, you'll be able to search for them. Um, and that is also due on June 30th as well. So June 30th clearly is a common date in residence life to get all your paperwork in. So hopefully you remember that. Yeah, June 30th, very important date. <laughs> um, all right, so we talked a little bit about roommate matching. Um, when will a student find out about their room assignment? Yes, so room assignments will go out sometime after July 13th. It's a little bit vague, just in case we need to buy ourselves a couple more days, um, but it will be about the middle of, June, uh, of July, sorry. Okay, and the only way to make sure that you get a room assignment is? To fill out your license agreement, questionnaire, and select your meal plan. Awesome, so do all that stuff by June 30th to make sure that you get a room assignment by middle of July. Yes. Awesome. Um, what if a student wants to change their meal plan? When yes, can they do that? Of course. That's a great question. That comes up a lot actually in residence life. Meal plan changes happen during the first two weeks of the semester, so you can't do it anytime over the summer. So once you've signed your license agreement and picked your meal plan, that's yours until move in day. Um, really the first day of class is the one that is when that opens. And again, that's through my housing portal. Okay. And what so once they get here uh, at the start of fall, how long do they have to change their meal plan? Yeah, just two weeks. Um, so I forget the exact date, but it's two weeks after. And an email will go out in that first week of school um, just to let you know that meal plan changes are active and you have until this day to complete one. There you go. All right, uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, room switches or any possible waiting lists that uh, may be uh, available in housing? Yes, um, so over the summer we do our best to accommodate room switches, but it's not always um, something that we can guarantee just because 
we have a lot of people in housing and not a lot of spaces, which is a good issue for us to have, so we can't complain about that. Um, but it makes the room switching process a little bit trickier during the summer, but we again, we do the best that we can. Um, and if we can't move you before the summer, you'll move into your assignment, and then we'll um, work our best to get you into a new place sometime during the fall semester, most likely within the first few weeks, um, so that we can get you acclimated and settled down and things like that. As for a single interest list, um, this is through your My Housing Portal. It will open on August 1st, um, and it's anyone who currently will have an assignment for fall 2018. Um, we do have a very, very limited number of singles for first year students. Um, so the list usually gets a little bit lengthy, but there's no harm in putting yourself on there. Um, if a single opens up, we just go to the next person in line and we offer that to them. Um, and if they don't respond within a certain amount of time, then it just goes to the next person. So it's a pretty fluid process in that sense as it's not um, a lot of time in between offers. Um, but again, it is a very limited number. So don't get your hopes up that you're definitely gonna get a single because it may not happen. Sure, yeah, very, very limited number, right? Okay, well, those are all of the questions that we had planned. Um, you already know this, that we have this magical wheel. I don't know why it's magical, but it is. Uh, I like it. I like it. it Everyone at home likes it. Yeah. Um, and it has all of these topics for questions. Um, you're going to give that a whirl. We're going to ask the question, and we're going to go from there. Perfect. Let's see what I get. Oh, wow. That was a really bad spin. What did you get? I've got best view. All right. What is... All right. I'll so on it. campus, yeah. what do you feel is the best view? Uh, the best view, I like anywhere in Sheehan Hall that kind of overlooks the entire football field. So it's usually in the west wing, probably on the higher floors, like four, five, and six. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a really cool view. It's pretty open and clear when you look from there, so you can kind of see a lot. And another cool one is the sixth floor of Waysland because you get to see kind of all of lower campus. So I really like that one as well. Mm, very cool. Yeah, so if you're, if you're trying to get that view of the field, I think it's all the way at the end, right, into those study, yeah. those silent studies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think the sixth floor views from Sheehan are my favorite. I think I've already said that on another episode. So that means if you live in Sheehan, go to the sixth floor and check out those awesome views, especially in the fall. All right. Well, that has been all of our questions. Uh, you've already done the wheel. Um, if you're interested in watching more episodes of Welcome to Worcester State, make sure you go to youtubecom State. Click on the playlist, and there's one for Welcome to Worcester State. Uh, my name's Thomas Kelly, Director of Retention. This has been Rebecca Giard, uh, Assistant Director of Residence Life. This has been Welcome to Worcester State. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye.